Hey guys and welcome to another Transformers video as we'll try to transform our Samsung Galaxy S5 into an S8. Let's take a look. Immediately you can see the always on display. Icons are here, but there's no wallpaper motion effect. Widgets are here. The app drawer is here. Looks pretty believable, right? I'll show you the quick toggle and notification area. You can start the camera with a double click of the home button. Uh, the camera app is ported from Galaxy Note 7. Here are different shooting modes available. And here are the built-in effects. You can also swipe up or down to toggle between back and front camera. Widgets are working. Let's disconnect from Wi-Fi and check mobile data. Let's check a YouTube video. Works fine. Split screen multitasking. Can you actually use camera in split screen mode? Wow, it seems you really can. Not that you would, I guess, but you can. Let's check a bit more common combination of apps. As you see, they both work fine. You can change their places. All the controls work. Then you can enable edge features. So there's apps, tasks, people, edge. You can also easily turn the edge menu off. I'll go back to Wi-Fi. This ROM also comes with its own app for setting up different features not included in TouchWiz. You can, for instance, set a virtual key in the status bar, like this. Now there's a home button in the middle of it. Then there's this nice one, you can turn on the flashlight while the phone is locked using the volume up key and turn it off using the volume down key. You can also set a timeout period so it doesn't drain your battery if it's activated accidentally. There are also different options on what to show and which style icons to use for that information in the status bar. And here's the advanced options menu. If you check device info in the settings menu, you'll find a set of false information. It is clear this is not a Galaxy S8, but what may not be clear, although it says 7.0 here, this ROM is actually based on Marshmallow, but it's heavily modified. You get a functional device manager and that's cool.
In the short time spent with this ROM, the only thing not working is the fingerprint scanner, but that's made clear in the setup, which we'll go through now in case you wish to try it on your own S5. So, download the ROM zip file to your phone, and other prerequisites are that your phone is rooted and you have TWRP installed. However, it's important that your TWRP version is not newer than 3.0. I've tried it with a newer version and it didn't work. When you have TWRP 3.0.0, select Install and browse to the place you've stored the Nemesis Reborn zip file. Select it and swipe to confirm flash. Here comes the Aroma installer. Click Next, learn some Portuguese. Accept the terms and conditions, and if you're coming from a different ROM, select a full wipe. Consider what that means and confirm you're ready. Kernels? I have the G900F here. I'll just go with the highlighted one. This is up to your liking, as is the camera selection, I'd definitely want the Note 7 camera. Not important. Here are CSC options. I'm in Croatia, what's close? France, sure. Again, some options which depend on your preferences. And we can start the installation. Let's speed the video up four times. And now we can reboot and start exercising patience. First boot will take a while. Eleven and a half minutes later, we are here. Now we can go through the initial setup, select language, connect to Wi-Fi, agree to terms and conditions, set up Google account. When you come to device protection, you seemingly have the option to set up fingerprint unlocking, but let, let me show you this. We get the message fingerprint hardware is not available, so no soup for you. Ok, going on, finish your setup and you'll get here. So to sum up, this is a very S8-like ROM based on Android 6 Marshmallow. You get the Note 7 camera, but you can't use your fingerprint to unlock the phone. I've made phone calls, received files over Bluetooth, I've tried Wi-Fi and 4G and all of that seems to be working well. And that's it for this video, stay subscribed for more stuff like this, and until the next one, goodbye.